Hello, fifth and sixth graders, and welcome to week nine in general music. I'm happy to see you. We made it to November. Uh, so I'm assuming that you wanted to review the lesson of the week or you missed class for some reason, and this is how you're participating in general music, which is excellent. So we have a new music of the month, Moonlight Sonata by Ludwig von Beethoven. And we have listed above, above this video is movement one and movement three. So what I'd like you to do, if you haven't checked them out already, I'd like you to pause right now before you go further on in the lesson, take a listen to movement one. You don't have to listen to the whole thing. I usually listen to about three minutes in class and then I'll cut it off there. And then uh, think of an adjective to describe movement one. Some of the words people came up with was soothing, calm, peaceful, um, rolling, so those are some of the adjectives people came up with. Movement one, see if you can come up with a new one. And then listen to movement three and come up with another adjective, a describing word to describe movement three. So go ahead and pause that now. We did take attendance when uh, we were in class. If you are participating through the website and not through the Google Classroom, go ahead and drop us an email, Mr. Rogers and I, so we understand where you're coming from and that you are still participating in music, okay? Uh, thank you for communicating with us about whether you're here or not. Uh, this unit, we're gonna define some words. We're gonna talk about composer, audience, performer, conductor, arranger, different jobs that um, happen in music. And uh, just to just a quick review, a composer is the person who creates the music. So they often write it down to share with others. Many composers are often skilled performers. Not always, but most of the time. Um, so we have listed on this chart, we have Beethoven, who is the composer of Moonlight Sonata. He, he thought of it originally. He was the one who came up with it. Um, Caroline Shaw is another famous composer, Wynton Marsalis, Bright Shang. So we have a lot of uh, composers pictured here um, from the past and from the present. So composer writes music, right? Okay. Beethoven was a famous composer of our past who's still famous today. Um, there is a, uh, a video about him. Uh, we you're welcome to check it out. It's on musicplay.com and you go to listening, kit four, number 19, you click the composer video. I'm not gonna play it for you right now, but if you'd like to learn more about him, that video is available to you at any time. Ludwig van Beethoven is our composer this month. Um, if you go to music play online, listening kit number four, number 19 composer video will give you a little bit about him. Okay, now what I want you to do if you haven't already, is check out this guitar's, um, this artist version of Moonlight Sonata. So this performer is, is named Marcin, and he's from Poland. He's like 19 or 20 or something like that. He's very young. And he has a version of Moonlight Sonata. So I want you to listen to it. And then as we listen to it in class, and we would discuss the following questions. So these are questions you should be thinking about. Who is the composer? Is it still Beethoven or is it Marcin? What did Marcin do that is different from composing? And should he be credited for writing a new piece or should Beethoven get the credit? So go ahead and pause this lesson and take a listen to Marcin's version of Moonlight Sonata and uh, think about those, those questions. Those are the questions we discussed in class this week. Next week, we're going to talk about uh, a, a famous lawsuit, if you haven't already, that happened in 1990 between Queen and David Bowie and Vanilla Ice. So there was a song called Under Pressure that came out in 1981. If I play it, you'll recognize it. And there's a song called Ice Ice Baby that came out in 1989. Okay. And uh, we're going to play the, the bass part and see if you can hear a difference. Um, that's going to come up next week now that we uh, understand some of the terms in music. So next week we'll talk about, we'll talk about that. Um, 
what happened in the lawsuit, okay, and um, and why. Uh, Vanilla Ice versus Queen and David Bowie. And a lot of people had very strong opinions when we started talking about it. So I encourage you to join us next week so when we talk about that. Um, take one more listen, music activity of the week number nine. Go ahead and take one more listen to Moonlight Sonata. This is that famous video. A lot of you have seen it before. I've played it in class if we need a calming activity. Um, uh, the artist Garrett A. Um, does a painting on dark water and he sets it to the music Moonlight Sonata. So go ahead and take a listen to that. Okay. There was a lot of discussion this video is short because there was a lot of class discussion this week about the role of the composer versus the arranger. Um, the arranger is what um, we would say, what a musician would say Marcin did. Marcin arranged the music for guitar from piano. Um, one student came up with the word translated and I thought that was a great description to translate music from one instrument to another. Um, we say arrange and it is abbreviated by this ARR. Okay, so this week is all about Beethoven Moonlight Sonata. Take a listen to the pieces, make sure you know the theme, make sure you can recognize it. If we play it in class again, you should go, oh yeah, Beethoven Moonlight Sonata. Take care fifth and sixth grade and we'll see you soon. Um, we'll see you next week for more discussion about the different roles in music, and we're going to delve into copyright, who owns what, who should get credit, and why. Okay, have a great week.